Can you believe it's been nearly two years since Super Mario Odyssey was announced and then launched in October? No, neither can I. But more interestingly, I can't believe we've had literally nothing on the 3D Super Mario game since. Essentially, I can't believe we've not got any DLC for Odyssey as of yet, considering what an amazing success it was for Nintendo and how much fans would have craved such DLC. Anyway, I feel like at this year's Nintendo Direct, we're going to be in for some sort of surprise in regards to something to do with 3D Mario. Why I think this, and what form do I think it will take, will it be DLC or a game? To find out, stay tuned. So why do I think we'll get more 3D Mario stuff this year? Well firstly, we've not had anything like that for around 2 years now, and considering, as I previously mentioned, the success that Odyssey achieved, that seems like a rather long time to me. There seems to be regular conversation about games on Switch for the Zelda franchise, such as the upcoming Link's Awakening following Breath of the Wild's success, but little regarding 3D Super Mario games. I know that comparison isn't completely fair considering those Zelda titles bear little resemblance to the crazy open world experience Breath of the Wild offered, and you could easily say well 2D Mario is pretty big right now. <coughs> But 2D Mario and 3D Mario are very different things to me. What I'm trying to say is that we're ready for some more 3D Mario action on Switch, whatever that may be, and it would almost certainly sell pretty well as well, no matter what it is. The second possible reason for thinking 3D Mario may be on the cards for Nintendo at E3 this year is another one connected to sales. Nintendo like having Mario games to seduce customers with for the holiday season, especially if we're getting new hardware. Now, although I'm sure that Mario in his hard hat will be making an appearance this festive period, by November slash December, that game is going to be about 6 months old, and I'm sure Nintendo's intention is that plenty of us Switch owners will already have our hands on it by then. What you want is something released relatively recently with Mario's face on it. Yes, I know last year Nintendo only had Super Mario Party really as a recently released game with Mario in the title, but Odyssey just seems sort of more current then, and look who's one of the stars of the show on the front of the Super Smash Bros cover art. Oh look, it's Mario! You could also argue that maybe this year Nintendo don't need Mario so much with the sheer amount of games coming in the next 6 months, but nothing sells Nintendo games to people at Christmas like Mario's face on a box. So having now established that Nintendo are hopefully ready to provide some more 3D Mario content, and many of us consumers are almost certainly ready to buy it, what form do I expect this new content to take? There are a few possibilities really. Let's start with the obvious one. Could we get some serious Odyssey DLC? I'm talking about DLC including new and fascinating kingdoms to explore and new enemies to face and take control of using Cappy. This idea on paper has real potential. Everyone who has had the joy of playing through Odyssey likely has their own ideas for new kingdoms, so surely Nintendo have a few themselves. I'm sure the DLC would sell well, such was the quality and success of the base game, and it would also breathe a little bit of new life into Odyssey. Although it may not be the best of options we'll explore today to sell units in the holiday period, if you threw it in a bundle with the base game, I'm sure it would sell reasonably well. One last hurrah for the first Odyssey game in preparation for Odyssey 2 in 2020 perhaps? There is however one major issue with the Odyssey DLC idea. Surely they would have done it by now if it was going to happen. Nintendo haven't shied away from releasing DLC swiftly following the release of other successful games, Mario Tennis Aces and Super Smash Bros Ultimate both being great examples. So why have Nintendo not gone down the same path with Odyssey? I suggest either they haven't got ideas they de reach their high standards or, perhaps more likely, they're saving them for Odyssey 2 sometime in the future. Either way, if either of those two facts are true, the Odyssey DLC option isn't looking possible right now. That discussion about saving ideas for an Odyssey 2 brings us on nicely to our next point. Could Nintendo announce a new 3D Mario game at E3 2019, such as a new Galaxy or Odyssey? I mean, it could happen. People always do say expect the unexpected with Nintendo, and let's face it, a 2019 release or just the prospect of it coming in 2020 would sell well for both pre-orders and hardware. However, I'd be very surprised if this happens, and let me tell you why. 
The simple fact is that it's probably just too soon for something on that scale to come out this year. Galaxy 2 seemed like a pretty swift sequel and that came out 3 years after the original Galaxy game, so a 2 year gap is just too small. That all comes next year in my opinion. But Alex, why does this mean they can't announce it at E3 this year if it's coming next year I hear you ask? Well basically, that's not really Nintendo's style and why the hell would you blow all of that hype and excitement at this stage when there's already over 10 games Nintendo have got to talk about, give information on and release between now and the end of the year. It really would be a serious waste which would be better used in the future this time next year however and we'll all be predicting it though. Now that I've thrown some serious cold water on the prospect of a brand new 3D Mario game appearing at this year's E3, yeah sorry about that, let's talk about one final possibility, let's talk about a possible high quality port from the past, for me this is the most likely and probably best option right now. A port of something such as a Galaxy Collection would, in my opinion, make Nintendo a ton of money around the holiday season, not take a great deal of effort to bring to Switch, and also not prematurely set off that hype train that an announcement of Odyssey 2 or Galaxy 3 would set off. Think about it, something such as the Galaxy Collection would ambush that unsuspecting parent down the shops, new players who maybe never owned a Wii for whatever reason would probably buy it, and you and I who have experienced the games before would probably buy it as well. Moreover, if we are to get a brand new 3D Mario next year, whether that be Galaxy 3 or Odyssey 2, this would be perfect for building us up for that. A Galaxy Collection followed by Galaxy 3 would fit that theme I suspect of ports building hype for sequels. If not a Galaxy port, I'd love to see them bring Super Mario Sunshine into the Switch and into 2019. The only problem I see with this is how are Nintendo feeling about ports these days. They seem to have gone dry recently which is obviously a major hurdle to this suggestion. Although everything on the game front went dry for the first 6 months of this year, and there's still plenty of rumours circulating about the Metroid Prime trilogy porting over to Switch, so I don't know. I can't wait to find out what happens though. So there you go, my predictions about seeing some 3D Mario content at this year's E3, and more specifically, I'm going to go for a Galaxy Collection. Obviously these are just my predictions though, so please do feel free to share your own predictions and thoughts on mine down in the comment section below. If you have enjoyed today please do share this with a friend and hit that like button and if you want to see more Nintendo and E3 content please do consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway thank you for your time today and I'll see you in another video soon.